Now, everybody who's watching, let's get RBT the 1 million subscribers by Christmas. He's the best Madden scientist there is. I subscribe to him. And if you don't subscribe to, your favorite team is going to lose to the I'm not saying that team. So we start off today's video with an unusual somber mood. Now, why do we start today's video with an unusual somber mood? Because I just got back from getting tested for the freaking coronavirus. Now, I'm trying my best to stay positive here because number one, if I don't have the coronavirus, I, I don't have the coronavirus and I'm a happy boy and I can actually not worry about infecting my parents. Now, number two, if I do have the coronavirus, you better freaking bet I'm coming on here and making a video because that is an easy god dang banger. So if I have to deal with all the mess with having the coronavirus, you best freaking believe I'm going to get a banger freaking video out of it. So that's how I'm staying positive. And so if you're, if you're seriously worried, I, guess I feel completely fine. Now, the only problem is the fact that my girlfriend, who basically lives with me, she just got told yesterday she has been working with somebody that's had the coronavirus. They just tested positive. And on top of that, she's already not been feeling good. She woke up today with a sore throat. And if she has it, I 1 million percent have it. Now, the only thing I feel right now is I'm a little fatigued and I've been fatigued the past few days, but that's really it. Really, I just wanted to get tested because I just want to be careful that I'm not infecting anybody else, especially my parents who are a little bit older. And obviously, the last thing I want to do is freaking infect my parents, the coronavirus. So guys, you really don't have to worry about me. I, even if I have it, I'll be completely fine. And if I do end up coming back positive, you best freaking believe you're going to see a video. And the thumbnail is sort of going to be something like this. But I mean, it is a serious matter, and I'm, I'm being really joking about it, but I'm just trying to stay positive as much as possible. Now, with that nonsense out of the way, today, a short video, and I don't know where the heck I've been, because this video is like a month and a half old, but I haven't made a video on it, you guys love it, when I do the new Madden reaction videos. Now, unfortunately, I don't know if it's because of the coronavirus stuff, there has not been a video released yet where the new rookies in Madden 21, like, actually react to their ratings and see what their rating is, but there is a short little two-minute video where the rookies guess their Madden ratings. Rating. So we're gonna react to that, see what these rookies think their Madden 21 rating is gonna be. And each rookie that is in today's video, I'm also going to give my opinion and guess what their Madden rating is gonna be. And if you guys wanna play along in the comment section below, let me know what you think these rookies' ratings are going to be. And the question of the day in the comment section below, let me know who you think is going to be the highest rated rookie in Madden 21 at the start of the year. Let me know what you think their overall is going to be as well. So for starters, I don't know why the heck this isn't full screen, but it is what it is. Starting off, to a ton of Iloa of the Miami Dolphins, number five overall pick. Madden rating, what I think it'll be. I'm My like rookie year? You need a specific number? I think my Madden rating will be around a 70, 75, somewhere around there. I okay, so for Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow thinks he's going to be a 75 overall. I honestly think that's about correct. I might give him, I think I'm going to go up one, maybe even two. I think I'm going to rock with the... Now we'll go 76. So it's Joe Burrow, my prediction 76. So most of the rookies, you'll probably see them say something freaking stupid. That's not even funny. They'll probably be like, oh, I'm 90 rated. And that's just not a thing. Like normally the best like rated rookie every year in Madden is like at top, like an 81, maybe an 82. I think the highest ever might have been an 84. I think that might have been Jadavion Clowney. But there more than likely won't be any rookies at the start of Madden 21 rated any higher than like an 80. So Joe Burrow... He's being realistic, he's being smart, and he might he might honestly be spot on. I think a 75 or 76 is about right for Joe Burrow. Around there. I think my man rating would be a 101 because uh, I'm exclusive. So that's funny, but not really, because that's not going to happen. Like, number one, that's just unrealistic. Number two, 101 is not even plausible. It's not even possible. Physics have not allowed for that to be the case yet in Madden. But, uh, Clyde, what is he going to be? LSU running back, got to see him destroy Alabama in person this year. I was kind of sad about it. But the thing actually is, though, the fact that running backs are normally always the highest rated position for the most part. You see a lot more higher rated running backs, even if they're drafted a little bit lower than maybe quarterbacks or wide receivers or linemen. So he honestly might come in. I'm going to say he's a late first round pick. I'm going to go with a 77 rated for Mr. Clyde. I think he, yeah, about 77 is right. I wouldn't be surprised if he's a little bit higher than Joe Burrow just because the running backs are, are always a little bit higher. So 77 is what I'm going to predict for him. It's not going to be a freaking 101, but I guess he got he got his little laughter out of it. He got his little giggle. Probably like an 86. I think my Madden. Who is Hunter Bryant? 
Like, I don't even know who that is. Who are you? Why did they get an undrafted rookie tight end to be in this video? I guess the number one overall pick, and then you have an undrafted free agent. So no, you're not going to be an 86. I, I, I'm a 62, so why, why is he here? Why is he in this video? Like, uh, you got Joe Burrow, number one overall pick, the undrafted free agent. Like, couldn't they have made better selections for the video anyway? I like an 86. I think my Madden rating will be a solid 80 coming into the league, you know, as a rookie. Now see, this is the kind of guy, that's the kind of smile that I like to see. Like, he's not being overly optimistic and unrealistic, but he's also trying to set a high standard for himself. That's the kind of guy I like to respect. Now, at the same time, no, you're not going to be an 80, but I like it. Now, he's more than likely nice safety son to Mr. Antoine Winfield Sr., I guess. He'd be, that's his name, maybe. I'm going to say low 70s for him. I'm going to go 71. I think my Madden rating would be a 79. Um... I'm a mauler in the run game and in the pass game, so they got to give me something. So Mr. Jedrick Willis Jr. tackle out of the University of Alabama. Now, once again, I like it. Very realistic. Very, I mean, still at the same time, optimistic. Man, knows what he's talking about. He's know, he's, he knows he's not going to be a 90 overall off the get-go. He's a high, I think, was he what, the 11th pick? It Was he top 10? I can't remember. Kind of a, anywhere from like 8 to 11, I believe. Now, very good. An offensive lineman, they, they normally are rated pretty high coming in as if they're a first round pick into the next Madden as a rookie. So for Jedrick Willis, 79 is not unrealistic. I do think it's a little high. I think more like 77, maybe 76 is the range. I think my Madden rate would be a, a 80 because you know I'm a rookie, so they can't give me nothing too crazy. So Chase Young, I like you. Now, this is crazy because I actually think he predicted it to be a little bit lower than what it will be in real life. I think his actual Madden NFL 21 rating will be maybe an 81 or 82. And that might not seem like a big difference, but in terms of Madden, it is. One or two overall could be a huge difference. So Chase Young, like he's, I believe he is going to be the highest rated rookie in Madden 21. He's just an absolute freaking monster. And I wouldn't be surprised if he was as high as an 83, but I'm actually going to guess 81. Somewhere in the 70s, probably low 70s, just because it's, I'm in the rookie class and I'm comparing against NFL athletes. I got to prove myself first. Henry Roggs, once again, what a nice, young, smart gentleman. He was the first wide receiver drafted out of Alabama, an absolute speed demon, an absolute monster. And I think he's correct. He said low 70s. I'm going to go 73. I actually think Jerry Judy will be a little bit higher than him just because I know how Madden can work sometimes. But Henry Ruggs, I'm going to go, I'll rock with the 72 for Mr. Henry Ruggs. Still extremely respectable as a rookie. I think my Madden rating will be 65 because they always give rookies, you know, pretty bad ratings. And he's not wrong. But at the same time, I think he's definitely underestimating himself. He was a running back pick by the Baltimore Ravens, J.K. Dobbins out of Ohio State. I think he'll actually be down to 65. I'm going to go 75. Once again, even though he wasn't a first round pick, I don't believe, was he a second? I think he was a second round pick. I do believe he'll be a 75 just because like, out of rookies, they give running backs the most respectable rating. So I'm going to go 75 for J.K. Dobbins. I think my Madden rating will be an 80. Um, definitely lower than it should be, but I think, you know, they always slight rookies. So. I think Jordan Fuller, who are you? He's a sixth round pick. So I just don't understand how they have all these first round picks and then you randomly have undrafted free agents and sixth round picks. But now I really don't care because he's a freaking sixth round pick. I'm not that stupid. Now who are you, Bradley Anal? Like who like who are these people that like why do they pick them? An outside linebacker fifth round pick out of Utah. I think my matter rating will be uh, around 85 or 86. Anything in the 80s I'll be happy with. Just stay tuned. I look to increase that rating over the next couple of years. Okay, so number one, not informed. Number two, even if you were informed, like a sixth round pick, whatever it was, fifth round pick, he's probably going to be like a 65. Number three, he just did not look comfortable in the making of this video. I think my Madden rating will be, I'm going to say like an 85. Uh, we know how Madden be doing people, so. Okay, LaVisca, beast wide receiver out of Colorado. Now, 85, once again, is extremely high, but I wouldn't actually be surprised if he was rated a little bit higher than Henry Ruggs, this might be a stretch, might be a bold prediction. 
85, a little bit too high, but I'm gonna go 73 for Mr. LaVisca. I feel like my Madden uh, overall rating would probably be 79, and just because I feel like I'm better than Devin White. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> his former teammate, Devin White at LSU. Patrick Queen loved this dude, an absolute beast. Ravens had a, what a draft, dude. Patrick Queen and J.K. Dobbins. But Patrick Queen, 79, I think, is a little bit high. He, he's in the right ballpark. I'm going to go more like 77. I think you'll have about the same exact overall rating as Joe Burrow. I mean, extremely fast. He's a monster, dude. This guy's going to be such a freaking beast. But I'm going to start him like a 77. I know Devin White, I think, was a 74. So if he's more like a 7, anywhere from like a 74 to 77. I don't know. Madden sometimes, they're, they're sometimes inconsistent with the rookie ratings. But actually, now that I say that, I'm going to go more like, I'm going to go 76 for Patrick Queen. 76. I think my Madden rating will be 99. Can I say 99? No. Yeah. So, that's just not a thing. Defensive end at a TCU, I mean, more more like a 69. 99. What? It better be. <laughs> ha ha ha. Now, what I don't understand... Madden rating, what? Is the video starts with Tua, and he's not even in the video. Like, it doesn't even predict his rating. 